Tonight in Georgia's first district, the choice is between Republican incumbent Representative Buddy Carter and Democratic challenger Patty Hewitt. WSAV's Christine Qualey sat down with both of them to talk about some of the issues that matter most to you. People in District 1 are tuned into some of the biggest national issues, but they also have concerns that are unique to our area. I spoke with Carter and Hewitt about border policy, the economy and disaster recovery. Take a look. Georgia's first congressional district stretches all the way from Savannah to Waycross and the Okefenokee Swamp. That's cities, suburbs, and some of the most rural places in the state, many of which were devastated in different ways by the most recent hurricane season. It is putting that money directly into these communities to help them get broadband up, for example, to bury power lines, to get roads properly paved and things like that. These are the kind of preventative and maintenance issues that need to be taken care of, but also further to move these communities, especially the rural communities, into a more modern age. One thing we need to be aware of is that this is disrupting a lot of lives. I think people realize just how, how much that, that this administration, how much harm they've caused our economy me and now they're suffering through it and they don't want that. They want to get back to a thriving economy like we had during the previous administration. The economy, a key issue for many in District 1. They want to know how each candidate is going to put more money in their wallet and will be the best for economic growth, like at the Board of Savannah, where workers are still negotiating a new permanent contract. The Georgia ports are the economic engine of this area and of the southeast United States. We cannot afford to have a, a prolonged shutdown at that port. And this could have a tremendous impact, a negative impact on our economy. So this is very important, and that's why I encourage the sides to get together. And let's get this a resolution to this. The solution there is to ensure that workers have rights and that workers are sharing in the prosperity of their companies. You know, the companies that the longshoremen are working for or, and providing work for have had incredible profits these last few years. Another big ticket issue, border policy. Hewitt on the latest bipartisan immigration reform bill that was presented to the Senate, but ultimately rejected by Republicans. That was a perfectly good border bill that would have solved a lot begin to solve a lot of the issues that we have at the border as far as making sure we're funding properly our ports of entry our customs and borders agents we have resources and judges in place and we have a appropriate asylum process carter on the other hand speaking regularly about his opposition to the biden administration's border policies tying the opioid crisis into the current situation there you know, we've got one president who, and during his administration, has totally ignored the border and has allowed millions of illegals to come across that border, and, and as well as the illegal drugs that are infesting all of our communities, whereas we have another president who we know is going to secure the border. He would, though, says the opioid crisis is about health care. But health care is a very serious issue. Fourteen percent of our citizens in this district do not have any health care insurance at all. And that is a huge problem. And that's why we're seeing some of the opioid addiction and other things we're seeing, because these people do not have access to health care. Christine Qualey, WSAV News 3, on your side.